What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the adventure here at John Goes Off Road. Uh, today we've got a little bit of a special episode. I'm actually really stoked on doing this episode because it's an episode that I think will help a lot of you guys out in regards to um, a lot of the questions that I get asked. And what better way to start off with a stock Tacoma? So uh, Anthony, who's been filming for me here, or at least working with me um, here for a little bit now, is getting his Tacoma finally dialed in. Uh, the stars finally aligned. You guys do not know how long this dude's been waiting for his parts. Unfortunately, that is a reality uh, with parts being on back order and nobody having them and things like that. So finally, all the parts are here. Uh, he saved some money up and now we're here for tires and stuff. So today, the real reason why I'm making this episode is because I get a lot of questions. What suspension, what tires, what wheels, what specs and all that stuff. So today we're gonna be breaking it down all the way down and uh, showing you guys what we kind of have to do to get this Tacoma where it sits at least in the way that I have it and a lot of other Tacomas that run 35s and stuff like that have it. So uh, we're gonna be diving up, basically breaking down the front suspension all the way to the back. But right now I'm actually on my way to meet Anthony up at America's Tires where he just purchased his tires. He's waiting for his appointment so we're gonna see him in just a bit and we're gonna be installing 35s. So big thing I want to go over is the size because that is a big thing um, Anthony's running 315s 75 16 he's gonna be going on a 16 inch tire he's also running a 16 by 8 negative 25 offset to kind of offset him and not have any rubbing issues with the upper control arm which we'll go in a little bit more detail here in just a bit but yeah let's get out to him those are the specs of the wheels that you guys are gonna see here in just a moment Excuse me, sir. Where do I go? Yeah, who road is you? Excuse me. <laughs> do you work here? I was good, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Who's out in? Anthony, you already in there? Uh, he's not, he's all back. He's all back. Yeah. This is Danny, by the way, guys. Oh, What's good? Right. Oh, all right, for sure. Well, COVID-19. famous because of you, you know. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's Daddy, the homie that works here at America Tires. I am doing a mess right now uh, trying to park this thing, but I am going every which way that you're not supposed to. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to go see how this uh, process goes for Anthony. Alright guys, so it might be a little too loud in here, so I don't know if you guys are going to hear me pretty well. But um, yeah, they're installing the 315, 75, 16 onto his 16 inch tires. Um, I mean wheels, I'm sorry. But uh, right now they're installing them. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the suspension. You cannot leave with that size tire on this truck with those that size. So for the time being, we are getting them installed while you know all this gets tuned up and basically dialed in. Um, I'm gonna be helping them out install all the front shock the front shocks rear shocks upper control arm leaf pack and things like that So it's a full leaf pack just as a heads up not an Adelie for anything like that So we're gonna be t transforming this thing like overnight kind of a deal um, And like I said, it's no better to start or the best way to start is on a clean canvas to show you guys What 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 goes down what happens what parts you're kind of looking at and things like that So we're gonna go in a little bit more into detail in, in just a few moments, but that's Anthony there. He's super stoked. We got a CMC already done, so that way he doesn't rub out when we throw the inspect. Uh, well, he'll rub a little bit, but not as bad as it would with a stock cab mount or anything like that. So, yeah, let's get into this. Show you guys a little bit more about the details on the tires. Hey guys, and we are back um, here to the house now uh, where I was kind of telling you guys that we're going to be doing all suspension um, upgrades to uh, Anthony's truck. And we're super stoked because now we're ready pretty much uh, finally found the day. This is a few days after, of course, all the install of the tires. We just wanted to have them ready so that when it comes down to the time to actually installing the tires and wheels, suspension, everything like that, we had one full day. So um, getting ready for it, I just kind of want to show you guys that we're going to be running the 2.5 extended travel icon kit uh, with uh, total chaos upper control arms. Since he will be lifting uh, to three inches, you definitely want to have that. And then we're gonna go with the Icon RXT leaf pack for a smoother ride, but also getting the proper lift in the rear. And then uh, rear shocks, of course, are 2.5 extended travel as well. So really dialed setup, actually a little bit better than mine. Mine was a little Frankenstein together, but uh, you live and learn. So uh, here we are. Now we're taking off the wheels here in just a few moments and we're gonna get him dialed in.
uh, as you guys just saw, we have all the suspension pretty much down to its bare bones and what we kind of want to do now is set up the front shocks to where they need to be. Um, I have a little small tool that uh, actually compresses the spring here on the floor and it's two like little uh, spring compressors that you can find on Amazon. I'll try and link it down below on the video so that if you're trying to do this at home you can do that. But this will bring the spring down, give me a little bit of space, that way I can adjust this without having to take the actual wrench to it and be there all day. So we're gonna expose those to an inch and a quarter. Um, that's what I found to be kind of like the best spot to put your shocks in when you're going 650 pound springs that are on this uh, 2.5 extended travel kit that we have from Icon. And that's what we're doing right now. We're setting that up. But why we are doing 2.5 extended travel is because you one, get the performance you want, two, you get the lift you want without overexerting the spring um, so of course there is limitations to that, but uh, that's actually the kit that I've been running for a very long time You can go icon king Fox, whatever you prefer. There's differences to every brand So make sure you look into that but 2.5 extended travel any kit is what I kind of recommend for anybody beginner um, Yes, I know I say beginner, but it's a buy once cry once kind of a deal So you definitely don't want to spend money on a temporary lift get the look you want, but not the performance, instead of just paying one full shot. So I know it takes a little bit of a while, guys, and we're very impatient people when it comes down to building our trucks, but this is the way to do it. Stop whatever you're doing. Uh, do not look at any other kit. 2.5 extended travel, Fox King uh, Icon, whatever you guys want. But let's get to it. Let's compress these springs and let's get down with it. few moments later we have everything in so I just kind of want to show you guys how it'll look uh, 2.5 extended travel icon front shocks we've got the uniball um, upper control arms from total chaos fabrication uh, so we're good there so nothing really crazy or anything like that everything's pretty much straightforward install wise at least uh, a couple of great install videos out there but this is the kit, so uh, just a little refresh. I actually had to go 1.5 inches exposed of thread to get them the lift we kind of wanted, so uh, disregard that 1.2 uh, inches. It's 1.5 inches of ex uh, thread exposed, expo exposed right here. Ugh. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm kind of a little exhausted. I'm gonna grab a little quick bite to eat and then we're gonna start on this rear end. All right guys, so we've arrived to the rear end where we're gonna be doing a few things and uh, getting this uh, rear end dialed in. Best thing to do uh, to get your rear end dialed in and never have to mess with it again is get a good leaf pack. Um, if you're thinking about doing a tent or you're thinking about doing, you know, throwing any type of weight, bed rack or, you know, bed rack with a spare tire, things like that, you're going to definitely want to get a, something a little bit beefier than just an added leaf. Unfortunately, added leafs only get you so far, but the minute you throw some weight on it, they're going down. So I always highly recommend doing the Icon RXT pack as it's more affordable. It definitely rides a lot better than a lot of them that I've heard of, um, like any other brands or anything like that. And uh, I'm not sponsored or anything like that by Icon. I just want to, you guys to kind of get a good idea of what a good brand is. So Icon RXT has definitely uh, done the job. It only got, you know, a little bad when I started throwing a lot of weight. So I'm carrying about 600 pounds on my truck. He's not gonna be carrying little to any weight, maybe a tent later on down the road, but he's got enough, you know, pack to basically uh, hold that in. So I think these RXTs from the get-go can uh, hold about like three or 400 pounds, which is roughly what your rack, I mean, what your, uh, what your tent and rack kind of will weigh and uh, at least a little bit under so that way it won't sag with your lift so we're going to be throwing this uh stock leaf pack out we're going to throw the rxt icon pack in there and then uh throw on some 2.5 extended shocks we're going to throw these guys out give him a little bit more travel in the rear so that when he's out you know anytime uh off-roading he can get the travel he needs um to get out there and you know demolition or do anything he needs to so Let's get right to it. Let's grind a little bit more. Hi guys, we're in 
done. Uh, we finally got the Icon RXT Leaf Pack in. We got the 2.5 extended travel rear shock in. And we've got the U-bolts in. Everything's tight, everything's good. Now we're gonna throw on this massive 35 that's brand new from Yokohama. A Geo Lander MT, so we're gonna throw those guys on and show you guys the finalized product here right now. All right. 